Hi dears, hope you fine. I'm Anwar Ullah Khan from Bajawal, Pakistan. Uh, we are today we have uh, a guest, uh, Dr. Olam Farooq, cardiologist. We will ask from uh, him about the disease like uh, sugar, heart attacks, and some others uh, major disease in the world. And we will also learn from him about the main causes and the reasons. Uh, uh, thank you, Anwar Ullah. Uh, my name is Dr. Ghulam Farooq. I am added cardiologist, Pakistan, Bajor. And the world, the top disease in the world, the most common killers in the world, that is a heart attack. And uh, CVS, uh, vascular diseases. Uh, so they, uh, when the arteries become blocked in the brain, that is called CVA. When that artery become blocked in the heart that is called heart attack when that art is black in the limbs that is called peripheral vascular and simply we, we call them uh, stroke and then stroke, yeah, strokes, strokes. Mm. and also diabetes mellitus but one killer in the world is the heart attack heart attack because there is one heart attack in the world in seven seconds and one death in 37 seconds and there is uh, 50 percent people in the Asia are now diabetic the actual basic cause of the diseases, these are all nutritional diseases. These are all nutritional diseases just due to lifestyle. Uh, the thing, the basic thing, the basic thing to prevent heart attacks in the world to change the lifestyle of the people. Because uh, uh, one thing which is very famous in the European countries but very unknown in South Asia, especially in Pakistan and Afghanistan, that is hormone D, vitamin D, which is called colical cipirol. And when this was invented in 1665, oh, that was uh, vitamin D, which is making by sunlight, when they hit the cholesterol, that cholesterol has changed to colical cipirol. This is a very minor mistake from the inventor. Cholesterol now accumulating in the arteries, so the arteries become narrow, and when the, they become blocked, they lead to CVA, which is called stroke. And when they block the coronary arteries, they lead to heart attack. When they narrowing the peripheral artery, that lead to diabetes mellitus, uh, peripheral vascular disease. Peripheral disease. And when this vitamin D become deficient, for 15 to 20 years, they lead to diabetes mellitus. So the countries in the world which have less with a heart attack, that is Japan and Chinese and Australia. And the most common, the most high figure of diabetes mellitus is Arab countries and Pakistan. Because there's one crore, uh, about one crore and 40 lakhs are here. Uh, in Pakistan. And this region. It's just due to life. So in the world, we have sunlight. If we want to prevent diseases, terminate diseases, we should be expose the limbs to the sunlight for one hour, especially the people with black skin and the white skin should be expose the skin for 20 minutes. So that cholesterol will be converted to vitamin D. So that vitamin D there will be no hyperlipidemia. Now the American says now cholesterol is safe, but they now mention one should be used sunlight, then the cholesterol will be safe. What is the best way to control this disease in our country in South Asia? Okay, uh, we will be uh, discussing here not only for Pakistan, the only thing special for the sunny countries, one should not be uh, stop the cholesterol because uh, when the God become unhappy from uh, uh, Israel. Uh, Israel, they ban uh, to not to eat uh, fats, half camels. Uh, this is in Quran and Hadith. So one should be use all the halal diet, but one should be use sunlight on the skin, and one should be go for exercise. So we our lifestyle is change and side job, cheer and or job and or job, and we Malmost. so this growth is increasing through our divas. Especially, I don't accept diseases in the sunny countries like Pakistan and Afghanistan and Saudi Arabia, the country which have sunlight in winter and summer. So my message to all my colleagues, especially the people which is a, a European, a American, and they don't know is the cause of heart attack. So they can use the sunlight, so that cholesterol will be converted to 
vitamin D and so the artery will be not become narrow and that cholesterol will be remain. What is the st so, international standard of vitamin D in, or in a human? Uh, the, 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 uh, the vitamin D deficiency is throughout the world. Because the European, American, Canadian, there is no sunlight, but the countries which have sunlight, like Pakistan, and Afghanistan, and other countries, because the equator line which is across the world, there's 11 countries, uh, nine of the 11 are Muslim countries, and they are suffering of diabetes, malaritis, and this. The most rare disease of heart attacks in Japan, and Australia, and Chinese. They're very, and the longevity of the female in the world, that is Japan. How much vitamin D is required for a healthy uh, 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 Because uh, the sunlight not increasing the uh, vitamin D, uh, no toxicity, but uh, those countries which have uh, no sunlight, uh, the vitamin D should not be less than 105. If, if that is less than 47, they damage the bone, but when they less, uh, more than less than 100, so the life expectancy is decreased. Because the vitamin D making the calcium, they are making the bone, they make the zinc magnesium so they're making the immune system so there is no hair fall so that is the reason the american weight is increasing okay. so my short message for the world what type of uh, supplements are available in the market in pakistan and others country europe country there are different uh, in different countries with different names because in America, different that is mandatory. This is counter drug because it is available even in free of cost in the uh, not in Pakistan in Afghanistan. But if going in Europe, this is free of cost. Should be free available to should Europe. yes. In Norway, these are given. compulsory. I think. Yes, for they, everyone. Just like in Pakistan, when the people using some mepenemic acid and brufin and some um, other painkiller for body aches, because we have sunlight, we don't need vitamin D, but we have sunlight. But other countries, they are different. Countries. Okay, uh, thank you for uh, listening to me, and uh, I hope you will be follow and we should be forward this message to all the friends, Muslim, non-Muslim, because we are human being, we should be care one another. Uh, goodbye, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Farooq. Uh, where was this? Was Mr. Farooq? You, uh, he, he talking about vitamin D and lifestyle of for our peoples, especially a people of Europe, people of for uh, others countries. And he said that vitamin D deficiencies caused so many diseases. Thank you so much. <laughs>